ชื่อสับจัดสักสวยบ้างเฮ้ยน่าไปลอกกันออสครับเฉยน่าไปลอกกันออสครับเธอเสร็จเฮ้ยน่าไปลอกกันจ้าว่าสักยังไงดังเฮ้ย Oh this is a wonderful book Dad it's uh it's steeped in history and everything else it's uh Burke's Peerages Burke's Peerages what's that Oh it's a brilliant idea it's a book which contains the names of the twenty thousand most noble people in the realm Who'd want to read that, Pete? Well, the 20,000 most noble people in the world. <laughs> For a start. It's a superb idea. It all dates back to the 18th century, Dad, the age of reason, when, of course, the clever cord reigned supreme. Yeah. And uh, there was this Burke, you see. What was his... <laughs> there was this Burke. What, what was his name, Pete? Burke. Burke was his name. Burke? He was what? Burke, yeah. yeah. A high fluting Burks, one of the great uh, Sussex Burks. Yeah. And uh, he was uh, he was uh, wandering about in his palatial parkland, you see, Dad, on a fine 18th century summer morning. Yeah. A lovely scene, as you can well imagine, the sun dappling through the trees. Of course, one of his beautiful peacocks flaunting its exotic feathers in the sunlight. Precisely. <laughs> Emitting, emitting the strange bird-like cry which sometimes comes from them. <laughs> Very similar to the noise you just admitted. Right. And uh, suddenly... Play it cool, boy. No, suddenly it come to him. What come to him, the peacock? No, this wonderful concept come to him. He thought, why don't I get hold of the names of the 20,000 most noble people in the realm and flog it for two quid a time? <laughs> He made a fortune out of it. Of course he did, Pete. I could do exactly the same thing, though, couldn't I? I could go up Barron Road and knock on every door and say, Excuse me, Mrs Taylor, I wonder if you give me your name and I'll put it in a book and flog it back to you. You do very well, the Barron Road Gazette. Yeah. I could do very nicely with that sort of, of thing. Of course you could. Clean up, boy. Of course, the whole business of ancestry is extremely fascinating. I've been into my past, you know. Really? Yes, I've traced myself back at Somerset House. And do you know, in primordial times, my great-great-great-great-grandfather come over with the Druids. What, the Druids of Limington Crescent? Yes, George and... Uh, <laughs> George and Phoebe's ancestors. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, that's, that's marvellous, isn't it? I had a bit of trouble. I went, um, I went to Somerset House one morning. It was a nice morning. I thought, you know, go along to Somerset House. Why not pop you down, know, yes. Pop down and uh, Get have, out a, the sun. have a look at the birth certificate, you know. Makes a change, doesn't it? Of course so it does, don't I went down there, I said to the gentleman behind the counter, can I have a look at my birth certificate? Yeah. And so he got it out, and I had a look, and it said, uh, it had my mother's name down there, but uh, where my father's name was supposed to be, there was nothing there. <laughs> so, you know, I thought to myself, uh, funny, you know. <laughs> Mother's name here, father's name not there, you know, Fanny. Fanny. Mother, no father, yeah. birth certificate. Exactly, you and need the two of them, Fanny. Fanny, yeah, by yes, you see, very peculiar. So I taxed my mother on this point, but she was very evasive about it. <laughs> well, it's probably a foggy evening, wasn't it, that yeah. day? <laughs> But uh, the wonderful thing about it, the ancestry business is, you know, we've all got a bit of noble blood in our veins. Yeah, it's the best place for it, isn't it, Pete? <laughs> well, it's a wonderful place for blood, Dad. Let's keep it that way, Pete. Let's keep yes. it that way in this nuclear age when yeah. all the, the whole hydrogen hovers oh. over us, oh. us all. Exactly. Exactly, Pete. And uh, do you know that we're all in line for succession to the throne? Really? <laughs> Yes, if 48,200,701 people died, I'd be Queen. <laughs> Where would I come in that, Pete? I think three quarters of the world has to pass away before you get into it. <laughs> but, uh... What, what would you do if you were Queen, Pete? Well, I, I'd turn a job down. I wouldn't do it. Really? Too much like hard work, if yeah. you ask me. <laughs> no, I'd, I'd rather like it, you know. I'd, uh, I'll tell you what I'd do. I'd give the MBE to Mrs Woolley and uh, 
I'd, uh, I'd give Aunt Dolly the order of the garter for services rendered to humanity. Yeah. <laughs> Your Aunt Dolly could do with a bit of decoration, couldn't she? <laughs>